snow flurries we've been used to, I'll tell you what, it's one thing, but good news for the mountain parks. You've got to be an optimist about this, guys. Yeah, no kidding. Great news, especially for any hills that are making snow right mm -hmm. now. We're checking in with Jill Bell, and she's hanging out in Lake Louise this morning talking about staying warm in these cold temperatures, Jill. Exactly. Staying warm, and we are warm and cozy here by the fireplace at Lake Louise. I've got my snow pants on, getting ready to hit the slopes. Uh, we're the first ones here this morning, so we're excited to get some snow in the mix here this morning. I'm being joined by Jason, who is a national training specialist here this morning, and it is all about the layers, although we are pretty cozy here by the fireplace. Absolutely, yeah. It's okay. great. Okay, it's great. So let's start a little bit about where we start here when it comes to staying warm. Yeah, absolutely. So it's all about protection from the elements. Um, some people can think that when you, uh, you need to stay warm, you just throw something big and bulky on your body and you're set for the day. But that's actually completely the opposite. Okay. What it's all about is it's about the layering system. So we're looking at three really kind of key layers. Your first being your base layer. So this is something that needs to be close to the body in order to help wick moisture away. Okay. Okay, so that keeps you dry. Yeah. Then after that, you wear the mid layer. This is all about insulation. So this helps to keep you warm. Okay, so I've got the base layer on already. And when it comes to finding the correct base layer, what are we looking for? So pretty much what you're looking for is something that fits close to the skin. So that's going to help to bring that moisture away from the body, keeping yeah. you dry, as well to finding something that's uh, designed for the right temperature outside. So if you're going to be doing something highly aerobic, something that you're going to be sweating a lot, and maybe the temperature is not so cold, you want to get something that's a little bit lighter that will help to wick that moisture away faster. Okay. Whereas if it's really cold like today, you want to get something a little thicker, something that's got a little bit more weight to it, so something that also helps to keep you a little bit warm as well while wicking that moisture away. Okay, I'm not sure how aerobic I'll be getting on the bunny hill, but, <laughs> but this is a good start. Okay, and then when it comes to the mid layer, I'm going to hand this off to you while I put this on. For sure. Okay, so what's important with mid-layer? So mid-layer, like I was saying, is all about insulation. So this is what helps to keep you warm throughout the day. Um, so finding the right mid-layer for the temperature, just like the base layer as well, too. Okay. So something uh, fleece, something to help to, yeah, regulate body temperature, keep you nice, keep you warm, keep you happy throughout the day so you're enjoying your skiing or snowboarding experience while you're on the hill. Okay, what's next? Well, Finally, uh, but definitely not least, we're looking at the shell. Shell is all about protection from the elements. So when people look at these, these tend to be somewhat thin, and that's meant because, well, that's because they need to breathe well. So you want all that moisture that you've kind of started to move away from the body now to escape from the outer layer. Okay. So this needs to be highly breathable, but at the same time also needs to protect you from the elements. So it needs to be waterproof or water resistant, as well as uh, windproof and wind resistant. Just making sure that you have the best day possible when you're out on the mountain. Okay, it actually, I'll grab that back for you. It actually surprises me how thin this is. So I'm gonna stay warm up to which temperature? Um, well, that all depends on the three layers you're, uh, you're wearing, but with the stuff you've got on today, up to minus 20, you'll be, uh, you'll be having a good day out there. Okay, and the car, it's at about minus 21 on the drive here. It certainly isn't minus 21 with the fire going behind us. I'm sweating already, getting ready to uh, head outside, you guys, and really happy to be spending the morning here in Lake Louise. Yeah, beautiful surroundings there, a little comfy cozy, yeah. and getting ready to hit the slopes, and if you're getting ready to hit the roads for the morning drive, Dave's got your look, Dave. It is winter, so why not take advantage of all that Alberta has to offer right in our neck of the woods. Jill is hanging out at Lake Louise this morning, getting ready to hit the slopes and getting geared up first. Jill? Yes, one of the most beautiful places in the world here at Lake Louise this morning, and we're happy to be hitting the slopes. But first things first, we're in the lodge here and talking about the appropriate gear before you actually get on the hill. And for that, we turn to Jason, who's a national training specialist. And you're going to talk a little bit about we already went through layers and staying warm. Now, what's, uh, what's in store for comfort when it comes to fit of a boot? Yeah, absolutely. So when we talk gear, one of the most important things that we can be discussing is fit. Right. Um, and by far, that can make or break your experience on the hill. Absolutely. So when we talk about boot fitting, um, sometimes people think that you literally just got to slip it on and if it fits like a pair of shoes, it fits great. However, it's not a shoe and it needs to fit somewhat differently. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is by mimicking the shape of the shell mm -hmm. to the foot. And that step sometimes overlooks. And at Sport Check, Sport Check, it's one of the things that we pride ourselves on is understanding that the shell fit is by far the most important component of it. Okay, so, so you're actually going to take the liner out and absolutely. fit the foot into the shell. Yeah, so when we do this, it's not about how it fits with the liner inside. That's the aftermath of once everything breaks in. Really? What we need to ensure is that your foot fits the shape of this shell and that you have enough room to still keep the foot controlled in here, mm -hmm. but also provide you with enough comfort in order to make sure that you have a fun day on the hill. Okay, so it's actually going to be nice and snug once you get that liner in. Completely. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a good snug fit, or as sometimes people will say, is a nice firm handshake. Right. Um, when that is, is when you're in the athletic position and you're bending your knees, so the skiing position, mm -hmm. you want your toes to be able to just lightly graze the front of the liner. So you should still feel that front of the liner. And that gives that liner a little 
little bit of opportunity to break in over time. So as you're sweating and that liner packs out, yep. you get that perfect fit. Okay, and then what comes next after the boot? So with boots, the next component would be ensuring that you're stabilizing the foot, so providing it with some form of underfoot support. So this here helps to demobilize. Well, limit the amount of mobilization the foot has, mm -hmm. allowing your foot to still articulate a little bit, but at the same time controlling it so you don't get in any improper fits inside the uh, inside the boot. Cool. And then after nice that, color too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and then after that, we would move into the skis. Okay, so what are we looking for in a pair of skis? So with fit as well, one of the things is it's it's no longer just, you know, you get it up to your nose or to your eyebrows and you, you walk away with a pair of skis. There's a whole bunch of variables that you have to look at in mm -hmm. order to ski uh, fit your skis appropriately. Right. Some of those variables are your ability level. So if you're brand new to skiing, you don't want something super long. You want something a little bit shorter, a little bit more agile underneath your feet, okay. allowing you to progress that much quicker. A little bit more controlled. Yeah, exactly. Um, as well, too, you also got to look at the type of ski. So where is it designed to be used? Is it designed to be used in deep powder, on piste, in the park? And all those things will also add to the, the type of length that you should have with it. Okay. Also, the amount of flex it has. So is it really soft? Is it uh, really stiff? And then your ability level also. So um, how much do you weigh? So weight is the, by far the most important thing over uh, over height. Ski yeah. doesn't care how tall you are, but it does care how much you weigh because you'll control how much you're flexing it in and out of your turns. Okay, getting technical here this morning in terms <laughs> of gear. Thank you so much, Jason, for taking us through the paces. We are getting ready to actually get on the slopes once the snow or once the sun rises this morning. So <laughs> looking forward to giving you a first look, Tara. And we are geared up with these kids this morning. The sun is about to rise here at Lake Louise. It is so beautiful. Are you guys excited to hit the slopes this morning? Yeah! yeah. Super pumped about it. Okay, um, I've been digging in with you guys about your skill levels because uh, you know I'm still pretty novice. How about how about you, Gemma? How how advanced are you of a skier? I ski double black diamonds. Okay, and how long have you been skiing? Uh, since I was two. Cool. And what's your favorite part about it? What do you love about coming out here? Um, skiing with my friends. <laughs> skiing with your friends? Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It's been a good year so far. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And now we've got a couple of sisters here. So we have a skier and a snowboarder. And this is Emma and this is Ellie. Now, do you think skiing is cooler than snowboarding? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Duh. Okay, and who goes faster, you or your sister? Me. You go faster? Okay, can you, can, can you confirm that fact? No. No? Not at all. <laughs> not, not at all. Now, what do you love about snowboarding out here at Lake Louise? I like the snow. It's it's good snow. It's good snow. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the freedom of just all the runs. The freedom of the runs. Now, when did you decide to go snowboarding versus skiing? Uh, I think when I was six, I knew I wanted to switch. So I was skiing then, and then I decided that I wanted to snowboard. Okay. So I switched then. Cool. Yeah. Are you guys competitive at all? Yeah. Yeah. Big time. Big time. Okay. Now, how about you, Marshall? Uh, what do you like to do, ski or snowboard? Uh, ski. You like to ski? And what's your favorite part about skiing? What do you love about it? Well, it's that you get to be in the outdoors and look at the view and and enjoy the freedom, just as she said. Yeah, I love that. Enjoy the freedom. Enjoy the beautiful outdoors here at Lake Louise. Now, when it comes to, like, cool gear that kids wear, like, cool stuff that you get to put on before you go skiing, what do I need to know? What, what do I need to know to be cool? Uh, well, you need to have, like... If you want to be, like, awesome in a way, you can, like, choose Emma's goggles or you can choose, like, her helmet or something like that and pick, pick an awesome jacket and awesome ski boots. And awesome ski boots. Those are the essentials when it comes to being awesome on the ski hill. Okay, we're going to actually get out there because it's about to open here and we're going to learn about a cool thing called First Tracks. It's beautiful out here. We're all layered up and ready to go, Dave. And beautiful out there, but uh, chilly to be sure. And at 826, it's chilly here in Calgary. We're going to head out to the mountains now. Joe Bellin standing by in Lake Louise. I, uh, wow. I am amazed that Andy was declared the winner. Um, and the thing is, is we're never going to hear the end of this. So maybe round two around the corner. And we're here live at Lake Louise. What a beautiful morning here. And learning about an opportunity for you to get the first hit at the hill. And it's called the First Tracks Program. So I'm being joined by Kevin here this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Not a bad day at the office here. Beautiful day. Yeah, you can't beat it. Always beautiful here at Lake Louise. Tell us a little bit about First Tracks and what it's all about. 
Well, First Tracks is a very unique opportunity. Um, it's essentially a ski and snowboard lesson program that allows you to get up the mountain uh, before the general uh, the mountain opens to the general public. Uh, so you can be guided to the best terrain, whether that's a groomed run or whether it's a powder day. Uh, you get up before everybody else. Okay, so how do people get this opportunity? Well, you can book it through the ski school um, here at Lake Louise, and uh, it's information available on the website. We also have a, um, a sport check program that's taking place in the next few weeks, um, and that's where... Uh, uh, some of the sport check clients when they purchase equipment uh, are eligible to be able to take part in this uh program as well. Okay, so if you spend some money in sport check, uh, some of those items that we saw a little earlier in the show, you can get a crack at First Tracks. Right. Now, for you, you also get a guided experience, right? So you're taking people up there and you're showing them all those hidden gems. That's right. Yeah, that's the thing is uh, it's it's completely custom catered to the client. So uh, whatever your needs or desires are, um, that's where we try to take you. And, um, you know, essentially you have 4,200 acres to yourself. That's incredible. Yeah. Okay. And what's the snow been like out here? How have the conditions been? been? Fantastic. We've had uh, incredible snow conditions the last uh, in the last week or so. We've had uh, lots of fresh snow. Um, you can see beautiful clear skies right now, and uh, you, yeah, it's no no better time to come out. Okay, cool. And I was actually picking your brain a little bit earlier because I was. I, I mean, it is chilly out here. It is a beautiful day, but you were saying sometimes at the top of the mountain is actually warmer. Yeah, sometimes on these uh, cold, clear days, uh, once that sun comes up, you can have uh, as much as much as five or ten degrees warmer uh, temperatures at the top top it's a great in inversion and it's actually colder at the mountain so um, yeah it's always a good uh, there's always a good time or, or place to go skiing here at Lake Louise. Okay fantastic. Yeah. Uh, come on in here kids. Are you guys ready to go to the top of the mountain? Yeah these, these guys are ready to ski. You guys have been ready since since the beginning right? How was how the first run? Good. Good. You're excited for the day on the mountain? Yeah. Okay awesome. Thanks for being on TV with us this morning you guys and thanks to Lake Louise for hosting us. A beautiful morning. I'm gonna grab a pair of skis and hit the slopes. Ted Tara? And, and come back quick, Jill, yeah. because we have she trout. She has to sample things. the food. We have lots of leftovers, <laughs> oddly <laughs> enough, Jill. I, uh, I don't understand why it's not just flying off the shelves <laughs> here. This isn't polished off. Usually the cruise around like ants, Lynn. But Jill, yeah, no, you guys on assignment home. Monday. We'll be right back uh, telling you what else is up for next week. Stay with us. I'm keeping this on. Are you